Hey guys, CB Super here. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I got a comment uh, today actually uh, about how to mask a mask. Um, say if you're uh, doing a banner or logo reveal and you want a polygonal mask to come from another mask, uh, how do you do that? Okay, well it's it can get a little bit complicated. Um, so I'm going to jump right in and show you this. And this is probably going to be a pretty quick, short tutorial because it's just going to be me showing you how to do this real quickly. Um, so what I have here is this is a polygon mask. This is just a regular background. Uh, and I have another mask that's animating from that mask. Um, and it's actually pretty easy and we're going to use the mat control node this time. Uh, so I'm going to just jump into a new composition and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. All right, so we have this media out node and I have to build a couple things. Really quickly, I'm just gonna build what I think your logo would kind of be. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a background and we'll just make this a red background and I'm gonna add like an ellipse onto it. And all this is gonna be is, let me go ahead and zoom out of that. <clears throat> and all this is gonna be is just a really simple um, polygonal uh, logo from which to animate from and if your if your particular uh, logo and banner are connected to each other one thing I would recommend is first either duplicating both of them and then separating them as so they're so that they're their own uh, entities that can then be merged back later all right so here is our logo and I'm going to size this down and just kind of move it over a little bit. And I'm just gonna zoom in here. All right, so there's my logo. Um, and then I also want to create a banner. So I'm gonna just create another banner. Maybe we'll make this uh, green. And we're just gonna create like a rectangle. And then let's just go ahead really quickly and merge these two together so that we can kind of see what we have going on here. All right, so right now, um, this banner right here is merged with this logo. So if I was to animate this logo right now, you'll see that all it does is it just rides over the top of it. Now, if we switch these and we have um, the banner as the background and the logo as the foreground, well, now we can go behind it, but the effect is ruined if we cross all the way through it. And also, uh, let's just assume that you don't have a solid logo. So if we were to make this ellipse and we were to maybe uh, not make it solid and then just drive up the border width a little bit, you'll notice that when we, when we animate this banner behind it, now obviously you, know, you can see it through it. So that's not gonna work either. So we want to have some kind of mask right here that will follow the curvature of this, of this uh, logo and basically you know kill off all the polygons behind it giving the effect of that it's going to be animating from the logo and revealing all right so let's go ahead and move this down this is our logo we're actually just gonna let's go ahead and select it f2 to rename it and we'll call this logo and logo bg and then this is going to be our banner. So let's go ahead and F2 that and rename this banner and banner BG. All right, cool. Now we're actually going to unmerge these for now and maybe move these over here a little bit. And we can go ahead and connect this media out while we're at it. All right, let's, let's, let's actually bring this up here. And then let's put this banner in over on this side just for now, just so we can kind of see this. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to create a subtract mask. So if I click off of everything and I just create a B spline, I can come in here a little bit closer and just kind of uh, start masking out the front of my logo. And then um, I want to kind of like come out here and make sure that I'm coming all the way around here just so that all of this will be masked out so when I move my banner behind it it'll uh, it'll fully be um, hidden and then I can come in here and 
I can finesse this by just pushing it out. And the nice thing about the B-spline is that it does a really, really great job of following any kind of curvature. Uh, and if you need more uh, points, just you know, make more points in yours. And then obviously if this was a more jagged, um, we could obviously use the polygon tool to do the same effect. All right, so inside we can call this, um, so the B-spline node, we can actually rename that. Maybe we'll call that our subtract mask. And then we're going to want to invert it. Now, I told you we're going to be using a mat control, so let's go ahead and bring out the mat control now. The first node, if you just drop that first node in there, you'll notice it has a, uh, a blue connection. That means it's into the effect mask, but that's actually not what we're going to want to do right now. So I want to remove all the connections. I want to grab this banner BG. I want to right click and hold it and drop it onto the mat control. And then we want to drop it in as the background. Also, conversely, if you just drop the node right into the background, it will go into the background because it is a background node. Um, and then we can take the subtract mask and we can drop it in again, holding the right, holding the, on the right button on your mouse and then drop it in. And then we want to drop that into the garbage mat. All right. So that's what we got now. You don't see much right going on here, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the garbage mat and then just invert it. Okay. With that inverted, um, we can now come over here and grab this, drop it on the merge node. And you will see that it's working exactly the way we want it. Um, and the nice thing about this is that not only is it matching up pretty well with our mask, and you can finesse that as much as you need to, um, but it was pretty easy to do. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different functions in here, and there is probably 20 or 30 different ways that we could have uh, done this same technique so that's pretty much it. Just remember that uh, you're going to be using this, uh, whatever your banner polygon mask is to animate. All right, so that's pretty much a, a down and dirty mask inside of a mask tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.